work, so they had to, um, they had to, uh, you know, disconnect everything and then re reconnect it. So I really don't know if, if it is worth us investing in, in a generator because the brownouts are not that often. So I probably won't because I don't think we should strain a budget, you know, just for an occasional brownout. It makes no sense. That would kind of be a, a foolish investment and it would not pay off. There'd be no ROI on that one. But the solar there would be. Um, the solar, if I can even cut my bills here, our bills in half, that would be nice. Because like I said, we're averaging 12K a month, nine to 12K a month, 12, um, 12 and change on the high side, it's too high. This house is not that big. I mean, it's, um, it's 20 feet by 58 feet footprint on the first floor with two uh, inverter split air cons. You know, yeah, we got, we got a bunch of fans and we've got induction oven and uh, we've got, you know, the, the, or the induction stove top and we've got a confection oven, which we don't use all that much. And by the way, those things just suck the energy up. Uh, I did it. Uh, I did a test one time at our other house with the solar and everything there. We, we had the app, and man, my wife tur turned that on, and that thing just went crazy. It just sucked all the energy. And then I recently learned, Tom Tom. That's our dog, Tom Tom. Tom Tom, relax. Um, I recently learned too that the shower water heaters, those CR water heaters, the instant on demands, you know, those things. That is the highest usage, even more than the air con in the house. And I understand why, because it's, it's instant and it's on demand. So it's, it's a blast, a surge of energy constantly. It never lets up. It never reduces like most appliances. When you first turn them on, they've got that peak hit when they turn on, you know, and then they level out. Those things don't level out because they're constantly heating water.